The family of the late world marathon record holder Kelvin Kiptum's coach Javez Hakizimana has rejected an autopsy report released today in Eldoret that confirmed the marathon trainer died as a result of head injury sustained from the car accident. And as Seth Olale reports, more details are emerging regarding a statement written by Sharon Koske, the female passenger and survivor in the ill-fated car. Families of the deceased have called for police to commence investigations. Emotions ran high at the Eldoret Hospital, where pathologist Dr. Benson Masharia conducted post-mortem for the late world marathon record holder, Kelvin Kiptum's coach, Gavias Hekizmana. The autopsy report confirming that Kiptum's Rwandese marathon trainer died as a result of a head injury that was consistent with police report on the car accident. Uh, and this actually was um, extensive bleeding. Uh, and therefore, I made a conclusion that the cause of death for Hakizimana Jarvis uh, was um, what we call intracranial bleeding due to head injury. And um, this is consistent with a motor vehicle accident. However, the late Gavvai's Hakizimana's family rejected the autopsy report, stating that the nature and degree of the injuries are inconsistent with the initial appearance of their kin moments after the tragedy. Um, by seeing the body, the, the body was intact except small oscillations that wouldn't really be a cause of anything. And considering the car, that was found after the accident and the weight was crushed, we are just wondering how can someone come out of such a car and they don't have at least some wounds. Because if you see them outside without uh, entering this car, you wouldn't think that they came from that accident. The distraught family now calling upon the government to launch investigations into the death of their kin. Um, we are requesting the government of Kenya for us we are about to leave and take the body but we are requesting the government of Kenya to do thorough investigations because we can really say that we are not satisfied by this uh, the information we got from everything that we saw. Meanwhile Sharon Kosgei the female passenger survivor in the ill-fated car reportedly told Elgeo Madrakot police commander Peter Mulinge that the late world marathon record holder Kelvin Kiptum, who was the driver at the time of the accident, had lost direction moments before the deceased lost control of the vehicle along the Eldoret Ravine Road. Sharon reportedly recorded a detailed statement at Eten Police Station, Elgeo Madrakwet County. The body of the late Gavai's Hakizimana will be airlifted to his native country, Rwanda, where he will be laid to rest. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.